Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss a numerical on transmissibility. Now we already know that transmissibility is the ratio of transmitted value upon apply and the applied value. So let's see the question. The question says that there is a machine that is supported symmetrically on four springs. That means springs are in parallel. And the mass of the machine is given as 80 kilogram. The mass of the reciprocating parts is given as 2.2 kilogram, which move through a vertical stroke of 100 mm, right? With simple harmonic motion. So if we neglect the damping, we have to determine the combined stiffness of the springs so that the foundation is 1 upon 20th. The force on the foundation is 1 upon 20th of the impressed force. The rotating speed is given n is given which is 800 rpm so if under actual working conditions the damping reduces the amplitude of successive vibrations we have to find out the force transmitted to foundation at 800 rpm force transmitted at resonance and the amplitude of vibration at resonance that means the maximum amplitude Okay, so we have written all the given data. The mass is given epsilon. Now, what is epsilon in question? It is given that 20% is transmitted, right? So, it becomes 1 upon 20, right? So, 1 20th of the impressed force is transmitted. Now, we are given n, so we can calculate omega, which is 2 pi n upon 60. Now, the value of stroke is given. Now, we already know that if there is a, a slider crank mechanism or if there is a piston cylinder assembly stroke is basically the length of the uh, cylinder if this is cylinder and the piston so in cylinder piston is moving so whatever is the total length of the cylinder in which piston is reciprocating that is called as the stroke and this uh, complete length of stroke is equal to the diameter of the crank which is connected so therefore radius becomes half of the stroke which is 50 mm now we have already discussed the formula for transmissibility so this is the formula at resonance the formula that we we'll use is this and for no damping we'll use this formula so we are considering the case when there is no damping so epsilon becomes equal to 1 upon omega upon omega n square minus 1 right and we already know the value of epsilon which is 0.5 omega is known so we can find the value of omega n that means when there is no damping and for transmissibility 0.5 omega n or the natural frequency for the system comes out to be 18.28 radian per second and we also know omega n is what it is under root s upon m where s is the spring stiffness and mass is the mass of the body which is already given 80 kilogram. So we can find the stiffness of the system that is 26739 Newton per meter. So this is the equivalent stiffness or the combined stiffness of all the four springs because see the springs are placed in parallel, right? Now, the first thing that we have to calculate is the force transmitted to the foundation at 800 RPM. So to find the transmitted force, we need to use the formula for epsilon, which is transmitted force upon the applied force. And we know the value, we know the formula. So this is the formula where we are considering the damping factor as well as we are considering the no resonance condition, right? So by using the logarithmic decrement, we know the formula. You already know logarithmic decrement, right? When the damped vibrations are there so it is basically the natural log of the ratio of two successive oscillations right and because the oscillations are dying out with time so therefore we see this type of graph so we already know this formula now what is this xn upon xn plus one now the question says what exactly is happening under the conditions the working conditions damping is reducing to 30 percent of the successive vibrations so this xn upon xn plus 1 is basically if we take it can be written as x1 upon x2. So that means for x2 if this is 1 the first amplitude the second amplitude in second amplitude 
the value is decreasing 30 percent of the first amplitude so if for x1 value is 1 for x2 it will be 1 minus 30 percent which is 0.3 so from this formula we can find the value of zeta which is damping factor 0.567 so once we have the value of the damping factor now we already know what is omega n omega is known so we place the values in epsilon and this is the transmissibility we find out right now we know that we have already studied that the maximum unbalanced force on a system can be m r omega square right because we have to find epsilon which is the transmitted force upon the applied force and the applied force is basically the unbalanced force right so it is m r omega square m is known r is already given and omega we have calculated in the beginning only so this is the value of the force that is being applied so we can find the value of transmitted force epsilon is known so this is the transmitted force which is 43.47 newton now the second part says that if the resonance condition is followed what will be the value of ma maximum unbalanced force or what will be the value of transmitted force so for resonance omega upon omega n is 1 so and we've already seen the formula that in resonance condition the formula for epsilon is under root 1 plus 2 zeta square upon 2 zeta so zeta we have already calculated which is 0.567 sorry it's 0 0.0567 right so we place the values of zeta and we find the value of epsilon now in this case what will be the maximum unbalanced force which is m r omega square when omega is equal to omega n so what is omega n it is this value 18.28 now see omega n is fixed when we are designing any system the natural frequency is decided in the beginning only what changes is the working frequency so for resonance condition we will use the value of omega n so this is the maximum unbalanced force and what will be the transmitted force in the same way that we calculated earlier it is epsilon into f so this is the value of the transmitted force that we get so the third part says is to find the amplitude of the vibration at resonance that means at resonance the force transmitted is this force and it is being transmitted through the spring right so the amplitude is what f upon s so s is what as we have already calculated and uh, this this is the value in newton meter so we are placing the values in newton per meter so it becomes 26.739 and force transmitted is this force which is 326 this force we have calculated for resonance condition and this is the amplitude of the force transmitted amplitude of the vibration in case of the resonance.